Hey guys, I was given a copy of Shanghai Office Simulator from a Annie Caroline. She's a Brazilian influencer who saw my attached stream highlight for Grifflins and figured I'd be the best person to review this. So here I go. Shanghai Office Simulator is a Steam card game. You play as an insert yourself schlub who enters into the stressful world of game app development in an oriental office space. The gameplay is alright. As someone who really likes Grifflins, if you're familiar with the mechanics of the game, it will be of ease. Unfortunately, the weakest point of Grifflins is what is considered a shield for an argument. Shanghai Office Simulator actually fixes this by outright calling it defense. Unlike Grifflins, mechanics are split in the RPG flavor of having five angles of skill you need to build, which each aisle of, which each aisle of skill will give you a combo to defeat the Persona-esque mind demons. I highly recommend working your health first with the insights function so you can avoid the hard bosses on the second stage. The earliest stage will make you unfortunately confident, which will bite you later on. Stress is a function in the game which will affect how short or long your gameplay with adjusting your stats. More focus on stats with higher experience will drain your points but get better cards. The earliest dating sim, be sure to see your parents and friends to spread and spend money to ease stress while leveling up your skills and getting new cards. Abandoning your parents and friends will bite you as well for your happiness mechanic. The weakest point is its writing. If someone who works at an office understands the writing, more power to you. The writing could use tweaking to be more accessible to those who are young. And not smart, like me. And a tiny nitpick. Could really need a skip dialogue button for faster replayability. The music gives me Honey Pop aesthetics with its chiptunes. Very cozy and peppy. While the art style has that Chinese avatar type aesthetic, not exactly Japanese, but enough that it deems the anime aesthetic. So I recommend checking it out, but be sure to change the language to English when you download. The game starts off with a Chinese menu. Hope this review interests you, and remember, criticism is always accepted under the...